नमस्ते आज हमारे साथ इस्कॉन संस्था से हिस होलीनेस भक्ति पुरुषोत्तम महाराज हैं एंड वील बी आस्किंग हिम सम क्वेश्चन अबाउट इस्कॉन्स एक्टिविटीज इन इंडिया एंड सम एक्टिविटीज अब्रॉड नमस्ते महाराज नमस्ते अच्छा इस्कॉन के बारे में ये कहा जाता है कि ये अंतर्राष्ट्रीय कृष्ण भावना अमृत संघ है द इंटरनेशनल सोसाइटी फॉर कृष्ण कॉन्शियस देर एंड इज देर ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड बट यूजली वी सी इट्स एक्टिविटीज ओनली इन द सिटीज and many people say this is only for intelligent people educated people poor people are not taken care of thoda prasad kabhi kabhi festivals mein milta hai so can you throw some light on your activities other than this you see is can doing activities only in city that is because you only look upon cities you don't look at villages that's why you don't see is can doing lot of activities in village not only in village in forest in mountains lot of activities we are doing is can as a special wing they have a trust india tribal care trust and thousands of tribal children are getting educated and health care we have uh, health care educational care emotional care social care spiritual care five kinds of activities going on and especially in northeast in assam tripura nagaland meghalaya then orissa bengal jharkhand and andhra pradesh also and, ja- and rajasthan and gujarat so lot of uh, activities we are doing and also through namahatta thousands of villages we are reaching to people there i see so uh, in these areas do you encounter any issues specifically with naxals and other some situation how do people receive you general people they receive us nicely fortunately the naxalists or anti socialist also li- they like us because i have seen in assam tripura they appreciate because they see we are doing something on the ground for this poor people so they are very pleased and some terrorist group also taking our help to surrender to government so we are keeping them in touch with the government that also happening so oh, they take us in very nice way yes. so this is very interesting so can you tell us how you actually influence the terrorists to surrender and come into the streamline of the process we don't uh, influence them anything in specific way we tell them simple things the teachings of bhagavad gita their life changes in tripura there is one man who was who used to kidnap is liable to kidnap people oh so some other his mind changed his surrender to government then he become a devotee then he prays to the police officer who used to chase him then the police officer also become devotee they are both tribals so now they are going village to village in tribal area so they are helping people so there are quite good number of people that are engaged in terrorist activities tribal people so by coming in contact with us they have stopped and they are preaching to others and some terrorist group as i told you individuals changing and group also they are not changing because of us they have decided but asking our help so we are helping them communicating with the government So what are the specific challenges in uh, villages or in uh, tribal areas compared to cities what is the big difference that you see in uh, the kind of problems people face is a problem we don't face a, face in challenge there not from your side but what are the problems that people face because uh, you know in city people have mental stress traffic problems they have a lot of work pressure that way that is not problem there they have no mental stress they are very happy uh, we say oh they have no access to uh, health this that that apparently is there but same way i observe they have very less disease also like when i go there i ask them about di- how many people have diabetes what is diabetes they have never heard of these things like so many people died in india because of this covid 19 the area i am preaching in bengal assam not a single person tribal people have got affected very surprising not a single person because their immunity power is very good how they will get diabetic uh, the food is they, have, they don't eat oil masala 
very simple food and very organic food and they work so hard going up down mountain so like this so one way apparently some problems other way organically the life is very peaceful also that's why our help is the, to them is we are not trying to make them urbanized we are they have simple living we are just adding high thinking to that so we don't want to bring them out of their simple living style so that is our goal we are giving them education good lifestyle but you no know, let them stay there and in your long uh, tenure in iscon that you have seen iscon grow over the years uh, what are the changes that you are seeing in india vis-a-vis the western countries in terms of culture in terms of social consciousness crime so in india the change i have seen in india hindus they used to think only old people will practice this bhakti or dharma put tilaka japamala but now the change has taken place the young children is becoming bhakta but father mother saying no no don't do bhakta this change has happened old people who are supposed to do dharma they are different from dharma the children want to do dharma they are opposing it so what we see in india the big change is the whole youth mass they are very much interested uh, for learning bhagavad gita and to have this spiritual life so we have thousands of youths are joining this con that's a good chance so parents were saying don't do this now you're young do it when you're old so are they doing it and saying okay you work we will do no no, no they don't so what is the general <laughs> argument they give to you when you tell them that you practice bhakti let the children work no we don't argue like that but what i have observed somebody's child become devotee initially they oppose but after some time i see they are sitting in our temple to japa mala also the life changes this is what happens initially they go to police they sue against this con this that but finally they also come they also chant many many families i have seen and in iskon we have facility now many places and so young boys they join we have facility to take care of their parents also in wada farm in bindavan and different places have special facilities and some devotees uh, suppose their educated children the left family then we take care of their parents and we also don't accept any educated children if they have anything to settle their family life this that then only we allow we don't allow anybody to come and join because it's not necessary to join full time they can stay in their house practice krishna consciousness they can do preaching so we are not so much that people leave their house and full time you know stay in their ashram it's not necessary like that you mentioned that parents are uh, becoming favorable after a few years of seeing their children practice krishna consciousness so what is the factor that makes them change in your opinion you see initially due to their affection they say no 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 don't go stay with us and when they see that their son is having really great life pure life good life then they understand there is nothing lost just out of ignorance out of affection they say no when they realize then they think oh this is very good every family i have seen like that and father mother they also you know come to krishna consciousness thank you very much maharaj so all of you who are uh, watching this jahan bhi hai agar aapko apne villages apne kisi jankar ke village mein ya tribal area mein agar aapko is con ke kuch acche karyakram lane hain to aap uh, maharaj ke india tribal trust mein sampark kar sakte hain there is a website also maharaj there is a website india tribal care.org okay so go to that site so you can contact me also Nine four three four five zero six four three four. We have an office in Calcutta. We have an office in Mayapur, in Guwahati, in Agartala, in Mumbai, different places. So you can contact there. Thank you very much. Thank you.